One of the most common procurement questions we get asked at YPO is around procurement thresholds and compliance. The UK leaving the EU hasn't changed the procurement thresholds as the legislation is written into UK law. The thresholds remain the same for now, although they are reviewed every two years. The main change to be aware of as a result of Brexit is that procurements and their awards are no longer legally required to be published in the official journal of the European Union, commonly referred to as OGU. The UK has replaced OGU with a new UK-only e-tendering portal called Find a Tender Service, also known as FTS. This is where tenders above threshold need to be published if they're advertised after 1st of January 2021. All the information on this can be found on the gov.uk website. We need to make you aware that any threshold figures in this video may be renewed by the time you're watching, so please check the gov.uk website for the most up-to-date information. Currently, for a school or trust, the threshold for most of your procurement goods and services is going to be £189,330. For major works, it's much higher at £4,733,252. These thresholds are for the whole life of the contract, not simply annual value. So as an example, if you have a £50,000 a year cleaning contract in place for four years, this would be a £200,000 contract and is therefore over threshold. The contract value is the total monetary value of requirements over its full duration, not simply annual value and should include whole life costing. This takes an account of the initial capital costs as well as operational, maintenance, repair, upgrade and eventual disposal costs. If your contract is going to be for an initial two years with an optional extension of two lots of 12 months, you should calculate the value based on the full available contract term. So in this case, it will be for four years. If you're procuring a contract for something like an FM whole house service and it's broken down into individual lots for award, you can remove lots that are under £62,842 that form less than 20% of the whole contract value. However, you can't just remove lots or enter into separate contracts with the intention of making the procurement under threshold. If your contract value is getting close to threshold, we would recommend that you treat it as above threshold. If a procurement is below threshold, you may have internal financial thresholds that you're required to follow to ensure you're being compliant. So it's important to understand what these are when looking at what procurement processes you should follow. Some of these points can sound quite technical and confusing if you've never done this before. But don't worry though, we're here to walk you through everything at each step of the process.